Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a study out of the Albert Einstein School of Medicine has stated it's doubtful that anyone will ever exceed the current lifespan record of 122 years. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what this study out of the Albert Einstein School of Medicine has got to offer. This is a review of a study I read that was penned by the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, where scientists suggest it may not be possible to extend the human lifespan beyond the ages already attained by the oldest people on record. And there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. Since the 19th century, Average life expectancy has risen almost continuously thanks to improvements in public health, diet, and the environment. For example, on average, US babies born today can expect to live to around 79 years of age. Compare that to an average life expectancy of only 47 years of age for Americans born in the year 1900. Since the 1970s, the maximum duration of life that's the age to which the oldest people live has also risen. But according to the Einstein researchers, this upward arc for maximum lifespan has a ceiling and they believe we've already touched it. Senior author Jan Vidge, PhD, professor and chair of genetics and a professor of ophthalmology and visual sciences at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine said, Demographers, as well as biologists, have contended there is no reason to think that the ongoing increase in maximum lifespan will end soon. But our data strongly suggest that it has already been attained and that this happened in the 1990s. Dr. Vidge and his colleagues analyzed data from the Human Mortality Database, which compiles mortality and population data from more than 40 countries. Since the year 1900, those countries generally show a decline in late life mortality. The fraction of each birth cohort, i.e. people born in a particular year, who survived to old age, defined as 70 and above, increased with their calendar year of birth, pointing towards a continuing increase in average life expectancy. But when researchers looked at survival improvements since 1900 for people aged 100 and above, they found that the gains in survival peaked at around 100 and then declined rapidly, regardless of the year that people were born. Dr. Vig said, this finding indicates diminishing gains in reducing late life mortality and a possible limit to human lifespan. He and his colleagues then looked at the maximum reported age of death data from the International Database on Longevity. They focused on people verified as living to the age of 110 or older between the years 1968 and 2006 in the four countries with the largest number of long-lived individuals, those being the US, France, Japan and the UK. Age of death for these super centenarians increased rapidly between the 1970s and the early 1990s, but reached a plateau around 1995. He says further evidence for a lifespan limit. This plateau, the researchers noted, was close to 1997, the same year that Jean Calamend died. She is documented as the longest lived human in history at 100 and 22 years of age. Using maximum reported age at death data, the Einstein researchers put the maximum human lifespan at 115 years of age. This calculation allows for individuals occasionally living longer or shorter than 115 years. They concluded that Jean Calamen was a statistical outlier. Finally, the researchers calculated 125 years as the absolute limit of human lifespan. Expressed another way, this means that the probability in any given year of seeing one person live to the age of 125 anywhere in the world is less than 1 in 10,000. 
Dr. Vig closed by saying, further progress against infectious and chronic diseases may continue boosting average life expectancy, but not maximum lifespan. While it's conceivable that therapeutic breakthroughs might extend human longevity beyond the limits we've calculated, such advances would need to overwhelm the many genetic variants that appear to collectively determine the human lifespan. Perhaps resources now being spent to increase lifespan should instead go to lengthening health span, the duration of old age spent in good health. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. In my humble opinion, I think that reports that use data from as far back as 1968 and only as recently as 2006 are really out of date. And David Sinclair made this point in a recent interview where he said that data from that far back should really be ignored, bearing in mind all the advances, the big advances that have been made in the anti-aging and the longevity field uh, in the last three to five years. I'd be interested to see what you think about this report. This report was actually penned in 2016, I think, but that's still using data that was at least 10 years out of date. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.